Hey, I just want to show you something cool with my trailer. Special features of this trailer and some trailers have it, some don't. But those little, these little spots right here. These are what we call can locks or twist locks. And it's for uh, locking down containers like the one you see here. This is a 20 foot container I have here. And uh, so these are spaced just right for another 20 foot container. Or you can have a 40 foot container on here that will go from that end to that end. What happens is when you set the container on here, you'll pop up all, all corners of these deals, like so. You'll have them on each end, each corner, and you set the container on top. And once it's on top, you twist this part, and it locks into place. So, uh, now, some guys don't know about this, and there's a recent Facebook post <laughs> that you know influence this video see that there that's how it locks into place so some say that uh, you don't need securement on it after that it's secured it's legal you know I don't know I've heard different and I'm too lazy to look it up <laughs> But honestly, you can see I've got two straps on my uh, the container there. And I do that just, hell, why not? You can never have too much securement. Now, for the guys who want to say that, you know, no shit, dude. Everybody knows that. No, they don't. Not everybody knows that. And this Facebook post that I saw just a couple days ago is proof of that. So, I just wanted to point that out. And, um... I like that feature, it's, I think it's cool. Even though I do add extra securement. Maybe I have, I have picked up one time where I locked it down like that, just the twi twist locks themselves. And uh, written down the road about 20 miles. But I prefer securement on there. What is the standard on that for those of you who do know, for sure, you know you, with certainty what the law is on that. I've heard some states allow it, some states don't. What do you say? Later.